my capacity as you know, an educator and also as a photographer, you spend an awful lot of time trying to figure out what the future holds um, in photography in this period when the technology and other things related to what we do is changing so dramatically and so quickly. We don't really use video anymore as we know it. Video was a plastic piece of cassette tape. So to say, well, he's a video guy and he's a still guy, we're all, I think everyone's a digital person now. Cheap digital cameras, uh, laptop computer, and anybody can, can be a photographer. But I don't think that takes away from uh, people who do that for a living. I think that it's, um, it's a way to get quick, quick material when they need it. A still photographer's reputation lies more often than not in certain situations with their ability to anticipate a moment, hit the shutter release, the mirror goes up, exposes the sensor, and you either have it or you don't have it. We've got to find a way, I think, to make sure that whether it's video or audio or still pictures or even the text that goes with it, we've got to find a way to really validate that that content is true and that readers will believe it. We got a, uh, a woman who sent us a picture of a one-eyed kitten. And we looked at this and we thought, this is remarkable. Let's see what this is all about. So we uh, contacted the woman. Uh, we looked at the whole take of images, we talked with her, we put this picture of the one-eyed kitten out on the wire, um, and immediately the, the, the sort of public erupted and said, well, that's not possible. How much of this industry will ultimately go to the video grab, which is often sort of portrayed as the barbarians, you know, sort of knocking at the gate of good photography? So that means we're about two, maybe three generations of technology away towards getting an acceptable still frame grab, which to some people is sacrilegious, the notion that you would frame grab from video and call it photojournalism. You shoot video very differently than you shoot stills, okay? Stills, you're going for a moment, and you're going for layers, you're going for you know foreground, middle ground, background. Um, and stills, you have the ability to compose more of a complicated composition, I would argue, because the user has more time. Uh, with the with the image, uh, video you don't because video stays on the screen. Each image stays on the screen for say two, three, four seconds. Um, you tend to shoot uh, much more in a much, compositionally much more simply. Okay, you compose much more simply. You certainly cannot do complicated compositions. They just don't work. I'm far happier that I spent $500 on an obscure lens that I've yet to be able to use or convince any editor to let me go shoot portraits in gorgeous black and white um, with this lens that Fred says, well, David Burnett and I use it for projects all the time. You should have one, huh? And, uh... <laughs>